Great, so welcome to this um, little quick um, video on how to use Bubble. We're going to create a chart right here that is going to take a thing and we're gonna allow it to organize that thing into a chart. Um, we're also gonna group things in it so that we have it um, actually counting things. So when I push this save button, what it's doing right now is it takes first name, last name, email. This is a drop down for location. This is a drop down for year. This is a image we can add. So I'll show you that real quick. There we go. So if I made location two, 2020, first name. There, I can push save. I can filter this down here. I have this set to just pull up people in location two, but I don't have my chart up here. I'd like a chart that I can filter by year and I can see how many people I have assigned to each location per year, right? But I need to build that, and then I also need to make this chart that I wanna have filterable by year, filterable by year, right? So how am I gonna do that? I am going to take a look here, and I want a bar or line chart. I wanna do a bar chart myself, because I just, I prefer bar charts. You can also even do this with a pie chart. It'll work the same way. It arguably doesn't look as good or isn't as useful of information because you're just kind of showing the percents of the whole with that one. But um, for this example, let's do a bar chart. Um, to do that, you just click install more here and you can do a chart. When you do that, it'll pull up the ability for you to just scroll down here and grab the chart element. I like using the um, elements that are made by Bubble because I feel like they're gonna work better because they're built by Bubble who made the whole Bubble system. Great, so I already have that added. If you don't have it and you're trying to do this, add it. Um, you just have to click the install button on it. Great, so that'll pop up over here and then you can just click there and then draw where you want it. So I want it here, but it doesn't know to do anything, right? So it just knows this. It thinks I want a line. I'd actually rather have a bar. Um, the type of data, these are creating something called a new client. So I wanna click on new client. And then for my data source, this is where we're gonna do some of the arranging, right? So I want to be able to look at how many people came into each location or how many um, new clients are have the same location attribute within each year, okay? So if I click on this, oops, sorry. I accidentally created a search box. Did not want to do that there. So. That's why you don't just wave your mouse around and accidentally click on stuff. So I click on data source and I'm going to do a search. I'm gonna do a search for uh, new clients and I'm going to group them. Click here, I'm going to do group, group by, add a new grouping, location. Exact, aggregation, we are going to count we're going to count. So what this says is we are going to count the number of locations that all have exactly the same name, right? So if I have a location that is titled France, it will find every location titled France. Um, and that is if the capitalization is exactly the same in each one, right? So if it's capital F, lowercase f, it will count them separately. But because this is all from drop downs, I know they'll all be the same. So it's kind of like a quality control on my end. So I click there it groups them, right? So then my current point, click here, I'm going to do it. Um, my current point will be the count, perfect. So I'm counting the number of these and I want to express that as my value, right? So how many of them are there? And then I also have my label expression, which will be this bottom bar where it says January. I want to have my location, right? So that'll give me the location name. So I already have some data in here. Let's take a look. And this is just returning all of the data that's been entered. It doesn't care at all about year, right? It doesn't care if I adjust this, but ideally I'd like to have this do something, right? But just to show how this works, let's do location three. Now let's do location one. We'll make location one bigger. Let's do 2001. I don't wanna upload an image right now, but I can. So that basically just increased it by one, right? So now it's at nine. Um, what I like about Bubble too is that it'll real-time update, right? So I don't have to refresh pages and stuff. 
Great, so we're, we're entering data, we're showing the data how we want, um, but we're adding all of our years together so we can really just see how many we've ever done, but we can't really see how many we're doing year over year, right? So I can't look at 2020 and compare it to 2021. Um, so let's take a look at how to do that. So if I go back here, this is really easy to do too. So when I'm doing this search, I can add a constraint and I can constrain that by the year and I can make the year equal to one of my dropdowns, right? So I can make that equal to whatever this dropdown is. I have two dropdowns that are 2020, so I wanna make sure that I believe this one will be it. So I wanna make sure I grab this dropdown for this value. And it's that simple to filter it, right? So make sure I didn't break that because it popped up more, perfect. So now when I click preview, 2020, 2021, 2022, boom. It's it's that simple, right? And now it's just displaying the data the way I want it. I can look at my data down here, who's in these boxes. Um, this is just overall data. I don't have this section filtered by year, but I do have this section filtered by year. So that's kind of a quick little example of how you can use the chart function. I can also take that too, and I can go back in it and say I want to just change that from a bar, I could change that into a radar. You know, it's going to do essentially the same thing. Right? Not a useful graph for this representation, representation, but a pretty simple way to be able to just alter things, change things, um, kind of take a quick minute to play with um, and see how things look for you when you want to organize stuff. And it's really that simple just to change things and kind of take a look. Let's do a line real quick. So you can play with things and make sure that they are the way you want them to be. And it's all pretty simple, easy to use dynamic data. Great, so I'm gonna be uploading a um, more little tips and kind of tricks and stuff here to have to do with Bubble um, as I build my own apps and um, prepare to launch some stuff. This is um, this is really fun for me. I like making stuff like this. I had a hard time finding something like this online when I first started um, working with Bubble and thankfully ran into someone who was kind enough to show me how to do it. Um, so I'll change that back to a bar. That's how I want it to be. And I will be posting more of these videos kind of as I think of little tips and tricks and things. Or if you have anything that you think a video on would be really cool to have. Um, let me know anything you're having trouble finding because like I said, even just creating this little um, how to on sending data to these kind of the way I wanted to, uh, I had some trouble with that. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, thank you for giving it a watch.